Hello and welcome to SnowRunner News. Now first off today we've had a tweet from SnowRunner saying we've updated our known issues list and we're going to keep it updated to continue work on the patch. Now they've added the list update on the focus forums and basically it's got there a few of the other little problems what we're what they're sorting out and what's being worked on basically so any problems still got to report it keep reporting it and it'll all be good eventually now there are still issues i'm having crashes and i'm having quite a few crashes and not for any reason we're not loading in a couple of times i've had the game just sat there and it's doing nothing so there you go anyway moving on to the next bit we have they're on about t doing a public test branch on the upcoming free content update for the fourth map. Now this test branch is going to be showing like the working mirrors on consoles and I don't think we're going to be able to do this for console. If it is, it'd be brilliant. I'll get on it and give it a try to make sure it all works. But we're going to keep you posted on that in, as time goes by. There's no date or anything we will announce later when the test branch is available. And then it just goes through all the known issues which we well some of us know about at the moment some of us don't but we won't run through all them if you want to have a look then go and have a look i'll put the link in the description so you can go and have a look because there is quite a bit of stuff there and i don't really want to go through and read it all again for you there's no point so let's go on to the snowrunner mods io now first in today we have tire selection by g cork or something like that and then that allows more tire type types on many vehicles then emails off-road tanker semis now he's got an extensive list of these semi trailers so we're just going to scroll through and have a look at the pictures of them basically what he's done on a lot of them is added tagger mud tires and also raised them and on this one he's extended the tank to 7400 litres then the next off one is the off-road trailer or tanker and that's the slightly smaller one and that's 4000 litre capacity then the off-road coiled tubing semi trailer and then we have the gooseneck semi trailer so they've all got these tiger tires on it and then you have the off-road semi trailer heavy construction and then we have the heavy oil tank semi trailer which is 10,000 litres holds that one so slightly bigger one then the semi trailer m747 and the capacity has changed on that he's doubled it up to it's gone up to six units now and the same with the oil rig semi it's got the same configurations but you've got more capacity on the trailers and the same with the sideboard trailer semi that was five units and now you can hold 10 units on the back then the, the add-on maintenance trailer is more fuel and repair points the off-road flatbed trailer capacity has gone from four to eight units then there's also another flatbed special trailer a service trailer and a sideboard trailer and then going on to the next snow runner mods we have the elite scout trailers by volk 1588892660 and he's got custom suspension on that and added mud tires then we have a t uh, tuz 420 drst by dirt stretch and that's big wheels higher suspension cargo rack added added trailers which is ideal because that couldn't pull any trailers got nothing no hitch on there at the back at the moment and steering rear um, steering rear wheels which is uh that's brilliant because uh if it had four wheel well eight wheel steering that'd be awesome then emil's brought another one out the off-road trailer pack now that is for so if you don't want to download all those separate mods you can just download that pack and it will give you all those mods i just listed to you then emil's yar 871 off-road trailer and i take it that's for the yar and then the emil's chained off-road trailers as well and that's just a mod so it gives all chained um all the trailers chained wheels then we have the pacific p16 upgrade by big dustins and that's got a 600 litre tank lift kit low saddle more tires bigger engine better gearbox heavy winch upgrade then the pacific p12 upgrade by big dustin as well and that's it same thing again 600 litre low saddle it's got a mini crane on there and then we have some new tires also the pacific p12 w army by dressdish and that's all wheel drive diff lock big wheels high suspension cranes have been added to it and then added a snorkel and then the international pay star f5050 by rash decision and he's added off-road tires diff lock higher price on that which uh, we don't want higher prices 
and then all terrain and mud tires have been added to it. Then the last one is the Colab 74760 Porter CG by Dirt Stritch and that one is added a special gearbox for it. So that's your lot for all the mods today. There's quite a few mods in there, but there are a lot of just varieties where we've just changed certain little things on it, but uh, it all makes it easier for not getting stuck in the mud. So how are we all getting on with SnowRunner? Are we enjoying it? Or are we getting a bit annoyed with the blue screens because I'm still getting them. A friend of mine was playing yesterday and he was loving it, saying, I haven't had any blue screens, and he had a blue screen this morning. So they're still around. Let's hope it gets resolved pretty soon. Well, that's it for SnowRunner Mods IO and SnowRunner News. I hope you've enjoyed this episode, and if you did, I will see you on the next one.